Hey you guys, so what's up? So I am back with you with another video. And yes, I have been out because I was sick and I'm still sick. Um, I'm still going through a lot of pain or whatever. It's hard for me to like walk fast or you know, to like speed up or, so I do a lot of stuff on my own, but I'm independent as I am. I love to do things on my own. So yes, I'm trying to, you know, um, get through this pain as best as I can. So y'all please stick with me. I just wanna thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to my channel um i'm sorry i have been out um i have not been doing videos because i have been sick so i was like you know what since i have i'm in under a little pain and i'm took some just took some medicine for it maybe i can get through this video because i tried so many times for this video to happen but it didn't so yes. so i'm going to give you an update on what's been going on lately and what is come what it what what it is to come in the future um for my channel for me and yes y'all it's 2016 so happy new year to all of you guys um i just been going through some rough times my my christmas and my new year have not been the best um as y'all seen the video before this um i was going through a lot of pain or whatever and um on Christmas Day, I was having like little pains, but it was nothing. It was like bearable, like something I can just take some medicine and leave like that. But after I left my neighbor's house, because they invited us over for Christmas to meet their family and stuff like that, um, I came home and I was just like having these little pains or whatever. I was like, it's going to go away. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to pop me some medicine. It's going to go away. So on the 26th, I woke up and I was still having unbearable pain like this pain went from zero to 100 real quick. This pain was like, uh-uh, boo-boo, kitty. You ain't, uh-uh. I'm finna wreck your world too. Down for the wreck your world. Like, I was in, like, my pain from zero to 10, it was a 10. It was on 10. I was crying nonstop. I didn't know what to do. So as y'all see me um that night, so that was like late on that night, I think it was around 10 o'clock on the 26th or whatever. I was getting prepared to get ready to go to the hospital. I was in so much pain. I was always laying down. And it was just too much, y'all. I couldn't walk. It was hard for me to walk. It was hard for me to use the bathroom on my own. It was hard for me to take a bath on my own without my husband. So I had to have somebody there with me all the time. It was hard for me to like grab and reach stuff. Um, I was my pelvic area all the way to my rectum area always hurts. And it was always hard for me to lay down. Like if I wanted to lay down on my side, I couldn't. I had to lay on my back. And still today, I still have to lay on my back. I can't walk fast. I have to walk really, really slow. If not, my pain is going to speed up just like this. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to get through this or whatever. Um, but I just, that day, y'all, I just couldn't take it. So I went in to the hospital on the 26th. I didn't leave until the 27th. And um, it, they really, really, when I walked in, they put me in a wheelchair because I couldn't, I just couldn't walk, y'all. And they told me to get undressed. So I got undressed and they put me on the bed or whatever. And they told me that, you know, they was explaining, asking me about my pains, what's been going on. And I told them and they was like, oh, okay. So I told him where I was hurting at, you know, how long this been going on. And before then, I had pains or whatever, but I, this really was really, really just kicked off. And it really scared me. Um, and I was like, okay, I kind of know what it is, but I kind of don't. And as y'all know, I'm still on my weight loss journey. So it was kind of like everything had to be on a standstill. I couldn't work out. I couldn't do none of that. A lot of the stuff that I was doing. So, and then plus I wasn't eating, so I was losing weight and I wasn't eating, which is a bad thing. So, when I went to the hospital or whatever, I was just kind of weak. I didn't feel good and whatever. And so, of course, you know, he was there to help me and all this kind of stuff. And the doctor was really nice. They did um, do an ultrasound on me and a pelvic exam, which really did hurt. Um, and they did an ultrasound and it hurt as well. And they could hardly tell what up in there because my fibroids was covering it. So, um, I got an MRI and discovered that my fibroids are huge. Like, they, from September to December, they have grew. And y'all know that I was like, man, I was trying to do the natural route. I was trying to do so much to prevent it. I thought I was shrinking them, but in actuality, that was growing. So, right now, one of my fibroids is like a 12, and I think the other one's like a 5, like... And I had a little, another one about this big. So I was just like, you know what? 
I, I don't know what else to do. So they gave me some morphine. Um, they gave me put gave me all kind of liquids and put it through an IV and all that, y'all. I was just so so tired. I was so cranky. I was just crying. I just didn't understand what all like how my body just took a turn for the worse. And I was just like, you know what? I gotta get through this. So it was hard for hard for me to talk to people because you have the usual like every time you talk. You feel it in your abdominal, and it hurts like a mofo. It hurts like a mofo. And I, I didn't have time. Like, I'd be like, look, let me talk to you, but it's going to have to be slow because every time I open my mouth, it hurts. So they took care of me or whatever. I went home. They gave me some isocodine, which I took. The The bottle is gone, y'all. The bottle is gone. For every 46 hours, you have to take it. But I took isocodine with caution, so I wasn't just sitting here popping pills. I was taking them with caution. So yes, I never had to take pain medicine like that before in life. And that was, this is the time where I'm just, I don't know what else to do. So on Friday, you know, I have a doctor's appointment and um, I, they will be discussing surgery and all these kind of things with me. And I will probably be getting the myomectomy done. Um, I tried the natural route, like natural remedies or whatever, but when I thought they were shrinking, in actuality, that was growing. So I don't know if it's just my fault because I'm still not, my body, I don't know, I'm still not getting my body together. I don't know what it is, y'all. Um, they, fibroids, I'm gonna have to do another video um, between fibroids and thyroids because people still don't know what fibroids are and they definitely don't know what thyroids are. So be looking out for that video. I, before I go into surgery, I am going to do a video for you guys to let you know the difference between the two because I get tired of people telling my song, you got thyroids and what your thyroid. And no, I have fibroids. It's a different type of thing. And this, this, is, this is located in your uterus. So yes, um, the only scary part is that I was just going through that me and my husband was going through was like kids because I'm only 24 years old and I really really want kids in the future and you know I just been sad and upset because I was like man I don't know if I'm be able to have kids with my husband and all this kind of stuff and it really has brought tears to my eyes and right now I'm just gonna trust in the Lord I'm just gonna trust and hope for the best if now we just gonna have to adopt and I just pray that you know everything goes into plan um what else oh as far as 2016 after my surgery or whatever i am going to do a drastic what i mean a drastic it's gonna be a drastic change um all the foods and stuff that i used to eat in the past were no longer i refuse to let these fibroids come back in trying to defeat me no no longer you guys i'm kind of like on the rampage i'm ready to just move on with my life and i'm not gonna let these fibroids take over my life so yes y'all um i just been through some ups and downs i have not been myself lately but i am going to get better i am going to get there and i just want to thank all of you for praying for your girl i want to thank all of you for checking up on me my real women of youtube sisters thank y'all for messaging me on facebook you already know who you are i love you guys so much i also want to thank you to my best friends for praying for me for calling me calling me up from time to time send me care packages Thank you so much. This really means some, you know, really means much to me because I really didn't have a lot of people, you know, checking up on me and stuff. But y'all really was on me. Y'all always checked up on me. Um, yeah, I just been through a lot. But you know, right now I'm just gonna cut the video short because I don't want it to be really long. But be prepared to see a new video uh, coming soon. And I was explaining to you between the difference between fibroids and thyroids and how you can battle them. Um, oh, you know, what you go through, you know, when you go through this procedure. People don't know nothing about this kind of stuff. So I am going to edu educate you guys on this. Um, I love you guys. And I just want to thank you, all of you, for praying for me. Thank you for being here for your girl. This has really, really took a toll on me physically, emotionally, and I just know that God is not going to put too much on me that I can bear. So I'm trying to handle this, and I know that God is going to pick me right up and keep me pushing. And I'm going to have little babies running around here sooner or later. So <laughs> right now, I'm just going to live my life and follow God, and that's all I can do. So I love you guys, and I want y'all to stay tuned for more videos. And, yes, y'all going to be following around with me because before I go to surgery, I'm going I'm to film what my husband's going to film. And we're going to film when we go to the doctor's appointment. So y'all can catch, y'all can be there, you know, with us, seeing what's going on. And, yes, y'all, I love you guys. And I hope all of y'all have a great day. Peace. We'll never die. We're like diamonds in the sky.